What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about the drain plugs that come in your TJ. So if you ever get like a ton of water for whatever reason, whether you left your top up um, or anything like that, Jeep actually has drainage holes in, in the tub of the Jeep. So I'm going to show you where those are and how you use them. All right, so the first one is in the passenger area here. So we're going to take out the floor mat first. So unbutton that. I got to clean my Jeep. So nasty stuff from winter so I'll probably be doing a spring cleaning video on cleaning out the Jeep all right so what you want to do is back here there's a little button you just want to unbutton the rear section and then you can just take your front section and slowly carefully peel up the, sorry there's also one more button underneath here you just reach back there and pull the button. So there it is. So we're just gonna continue to slowly peel up the underside here without tearing anything. All right, so here's the passenger one. Now, how you take it out, just push down on it and get your finger and just peel it up. So as you can see down there, you can see my foot down there so basically if you get any water in there you can just drain drain it all out which is really nice get all this dirt down there so if you ever want you can wash the tub of your Jeep too if it gets muddy I guess if you don't have floor mats in you can uh, wash all this junk out through these holes which is kind of nice so to put it back in all you want to do is push down and just kind of make your way around and it pops in really nice so it's kind of a cool feature that they added to this knowing that you that you know people are probably going to get water in here and all sorts of stuff so you don't have water uh, sitting under here and i would too if you haven't checked in a while check under here to make sure there's no rust or anything from water and moisture sitting underneath the carpet here definitely check that to make sure mine looks pretty good so don't have to worry about that but uh yeah i'll show you guys the other locations all right, so the other area you're going to check here is you're going to move your seat backward here. And if you look down here, there's that button that we took off earlier. So take that button off, and then you're going to slowly fold this back. All right, so slowly take this out because you, you will tear it, especially if your Jeep has got an older carpeting in it. And I'm just gonna fold this back and then the rear ones are right here. So same thing, put your thumb down into it, peel it up and it'll drain. This is, actually doesn't have through the floor. This is I believe the heat shield. So, but uh, yeah, those are all the drains. And then you're gonna have one more on that side and then one more in the driver's footwall area. So you got four drains, so that should be plenty. And then the back here, you should be able to just, uh, you know, take a rag or something or a squeegee of some sorts. If you got tons of water back there, you can kind of push that all back that way. So if your carpets are super wet, I would either take your top off and let the sun bake these, or the best bet is to take all the carpets out of the Jeep, lay them out in the sun, and then dry all of the panels here or the underside of the carpets that way moisture doesn't build up underneath there so uh, to take the carpets out pretty simple there are all these buttons everywhere um, it would if you don't have a center console it makes it pretty easy but I would just remove your center console it's super easy there are a couple screws back there I think some uh, a screw underneath the cup holder there and just undo it that way you can slide the carpets out nice and easy without ripping it or anything like that and then when you're done with that, just pull everything out and let it sit out in the sun and get nice and dry before you set the carpets back in. And that's going to really help help you out with not getting rust on the inside. Some people like to uh, like almost like a rhino liner or bed line the, the floors. Um, that's an option, too. I like having carpet. It's a little more insulating. Uh, the, your feet don't get hot. Um, I've, I've taken the carpets out once before and the floor gets pretty warm. But yeah, so it's finally starting to warm up here, guys. So we're going to be making some more videos of the TJ here. Um, definitely, like I said before, I'm going to be doing a 
video on kind of a spring cleaning, kind of cleaning it up after winter. Some of my, some of my paint. So when uh, when they salt and sand in the road, it's basically sandblasting everything back here. So I got to touch up some paint here and here. Probably gonna pull these off, see how they're doing. The metal clicks are super easy to pull off. They're just two bolts there. So I'm gonna pull them off, take a look at them, see how they're doing. Um, if I can stop any rust before it gets worse, I'm gonna do that. So just gonna take a quick look at everything. Then I'm probably, my, my rear gas tank skid plate has a little bit of rust starting on it. So I'm gonna pull that off and do a cleaning on that. I got to do a full paint correction on the TJ. Um, it, I never did one. So I don't know if you guys can really, you can't really see it with this light, but there's a ton of swirl marks. So I'm gonna do my best to get the swirl marks out and kind of bring the paint uh, to be a little bit nicer. And I haven't done that yet, which um, I should probably should have done that a while ago. But, uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If it was, please give the video a big thumbs up and definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.